Hey, welcome back. This is a small update to the entrance area just outside of my media room. I decided to work on the fake blast door. So I went to Illustrator, created a nice little template, printed it out, taped all the sheets together, and that way I can use those with a straight edge and go ahead and make my design on the back of this hardboard. Kind of a boring process, but very, very necessary. The good thing about this is I get to kind of get a preview of the sizing and make sure all the shapes are going to match up. See, that looks good. Now I'm measuring because I decided I'm going to use all the scraps from previous projects to make this blast door. Now if you've watched any of my previous builds, you'll know I have a ton of scrap wood laying around. A ton. Now that I've gathered all the scraps for this project, it's time to cut them down to match my design. Now the fun part of this project is that I have to do everything times two. Yup, more cutting. Now you can't tell from these videos, but I am petrified of the table saw. I just have this feeling that not only will the wood kick back, but it'll catch me in the gut, and then me and the board will be embedded into the wall behind us. Pretty sure that's how that works. Folks, this is becoming my most favorite tool in the shop. That's right, the bandsaw. Can cut intricate shapes, shave off fingernails. It's just awesome. Now I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Well, I thought the CNC or the laser was the favorite tool. I mean, can't you do corrective eye surgery and tattooing? I know, yeah, I get, what, what? Really? Okay, the wife's shaking her head. No, I guess I'm not supposed to use those tools for those things. Man, is she going to be surprised when she sees my arm. So I plan on using dowels to keep all this stuff together, but before I do, I'm just making some markings. That way I know where everything lines up. This tool right here made the process so much easier and was inexpensive.
and look at that. You put your dolls in, snap it all together, and perfect. A puzzle piece, and it's strong too. So now with all the holes made, all the dowels put in place, and the glue, it was time to assemble. Now before I glue and nail down the frame, I decided to make some quick adjustments. Just wanted to make sure everything was nice and straight. Then it was time to apply the glue. I applied some wood filler in the cracks and then the sanding process. Lots and lots of sanding. Then after the sanding, had to add the primer because those exposed edges would suck up the paint big time. Then of course after the primer, the process that brings it all together. Gum and tape, I mean uh, painting. Now it starts off messy, but I go over it several times so it's nice and smooth and best of all, you don't see any brush strokes or roller marks. Now it's time for the actual installation. Now while everything looks like it's just laying in place and nothing's really attached, I assure you those columns are snug from wall to wall. But just in case, I do plan on putting a bracket on the top area. That way nothing falls over and we won't have anybody crushed. Okay with that, the blast door is in place. Next up, panels for the side walls and then finally, finally, the floor. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this build and thanks for watching. Also, if you like what I do and want to support my coffee habit, uh, my Patreon is right down in the description. Yeah. Right there. No, no, no. Scroll down a little. Yeah. Right, right there. Yeah, right there. There you go.